Welcome to today's Research Business Daily Report, where market researchers come for news, insights, and commentary about their field. Market research, and we provide them with knowledge and assorted other valuable information that affects and impacts them both personally and professionally inside and outside their current place of work. On RBDR today, the heretofore undisclosed importance of smell in decision-making that is based on emotion. And then how voice-activated search and device use is changing marketing and with it research. RBDR is sponsored today and this week by Symmetric Sampling, a division of decision analysts providing sampling services to companies that place a very high value on representative samples, scientific sampling methods, and advanced fraud detection systems. You can learn a lot of generalities and more importantly, the important st uh, specifics about typical company sampling requirements and symmetric sampling's deliverable services and products when you visit symmetricsampling.com. And as you do so, take a moment or two and educate yourself about Symmetric Sampling's panels, how they manage them, their answers to SMR's 28 questions about sampling. They've got white papers there, and there's actually much, much more, so it's well worth a look. Barbara Bush of Sense Analysis wrote on LinkedIn about valuable insights that are now available through media communications that rely on emotion. But she emphasized that smell is the most powerful sense. Smell, she said, has an impact on emotions even when we are not aware of smell. The power of scent is relevant for every product and brand, she said. Every ad, pack, or brand has an quote-unquote imaginary smell, which gives access to deep-seated emotions and does provide completely new emotional insights. Bush added that sensory emotions, quote, create an emotional bond with the consumer and strongly affect repurchase and brand loyalty. It is crucial for sensory messages of a product, she insisted, that they be carried forward to a brand's marketing messages. And she predicts that the next big trend that we're going to see will find ways to capture consumer emotions holistically through all of their senses and across all interactions with a brand. Moving on, James Hersher for AdExchanger.com reported that voice-activated search and device use has already passed the early adoption stage, and in fact, it has become part of an early market majority. And that information, he says, came from Adobe Mobile VP Matt Assay. The business reaction to all this has been dramatic, with one prominent stick-up big winner, Amazon's Alexa voice platform. For instance, Campbell Soup Company sees voice-activated devices as the next generation of home recipe suggestions in connected conditions. And then there's Sony Pictures Television, which has been expanding its mobile apps for its game shows Jeopardy, Wheel of Fortune, and Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? The more this sort of marketing emerges and expands, and it is completely on its way of doing so right now, the sooner market researchers will need to find capable ways of capturing the pitches that are being made to consumers in this fashion and what the responses from consumers are. We're linking to this article, which is quite lengthy, but I think well worth your while. That is your research business, Daily Report. We've been sponsored today and this week by Symmetric Sampling, a division of decision analysts which provides sampling services to companies that place a very high value on representative samples, scientific sampling methods, and advanced fraud detection systems. Check things out at SymmetricSampling.com. Have a great research day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.